once upon a time, in a little house in the big woods. A grandmother was sitting on a rocking chair, knitting a brand new scarf for the grandson. The boy ran in from his play. Grandma, he asked, could I have some new mittens? Of course, said the grandma. I will make them with color so you won't lose them. My favorite color is white, said the boy. Could I please have snow white mittens? All right, dear, said the grandma. Just don't lose them. The grandma sat knitting. After a while, she was done. The boy ran in and she handed the mittens over to the boy. Thank you, said the boy, and he ran out to play again. Outside the boy's house was an apple tree. And he started to pick some apples. He never realized that he had lost one of his mittens. The mitten was invisible on the bright white snow and soon came along a mouse. Oh dear, it's freezing outside. What do we have here? It's a lovely home. This could be my home for the winter. And the mouse went inside the boy's mitten. Soon a mole came along. What do I smell? said the mole. It smells like a warm home. Let me go in. The mole startled the mouse, but the mouse didn't dare say a word just by looking at the mole's sharp claws. Brrr! It's quite cold today. Hmm, what do I see here? Looks like a nice and cozy home. I guess I'll jump right in. Hola amigos, greeted the hedgehog. Though the mouse and the bowl were not happy to see another guest, looking at the hedgehog's spikes, they just smiled and let him in. Hop, hop, came the rabbit. I really need to think of a place for me to call home. Whoa! Howdy, said the friendly rabbit. The trio looked at the rabbit's strong legs. One kick and it's over, they thought. <laughs> Welcome, is all they were able to say. As the woodland animals huddled inside the mitten, they were startled by a whoo, whoo. As they all wondered what it could be, an owl swooped in. Oh, this looks like a party. Where is the cake? They all looked at the owl's sharp talons and didn't dare say a word. By now the mitten seemed as it could explode any second. However, it caught the attention of a sassy fox who happened to just pass by. Oh dear, the house looks full but I must squeeze in. And she had just somehow managed to squeeze in. The mitten was so crowded that it had just out of the mitten. By now, the boy had noticed that he had lost one of his mittens and he was really upset. Suddenly, the boy saw his mitten flying through the air and he had just managed to grab hold of it. Grandma, Grandma, I had lost my mittens but now I found them. Here they are. The grandma looked at the mitten. And she never knew why one mitten was larger than the other.